Yeah, well, two people again dead after a uh, scene. Deadly plane crash that happened now going on more than 12 hours. Uh, but I want to show you guys something that's changed out here because we've been out here all morning. But just a couple minutes ago, we watched as a woman put down those flowers right there. We asked her if she wanted to go on camera. She said she didn't want to, but she says she was one of the first to get on scene. Uh, she tried to pull the bodies out of the plane. So obviously very difficult for her to do, but she just put those flowers right there just a couple minutes ago. I also want to show you kind of what's left of this scene in terms of the roadway right here. You can see we're right on Greenfield right here. A couple lanes got has, still has some oil in it, probably about halfway through the roadway out here um, right now. But for the most part, everything else is clear. Very different story, though. Uh, again, about 12 hours ago. I want to take you back, show you some video, because again, it all happened right here near Falcon Field Airport. We spoke to a witness who says he watched the plane plummet into the roadway just 500 feet in front of him. He says he saw two planes go up and one try to not hit the other one. He snapped some pictures, which you'll see here, showing the furious fire. Now we're told two pilots again died in the crash. That plane, an AT-6 World War II trainer, took off from Falcon Fields around 6.30. Uh, investigators telling us two planes taking off in tandem. That's not something that's actually uncommon, especially when we're dealing with vintage warbirds. But here's how one witness describes it all. Just try to, uh, I was thinking to go close to help, but like explodes right away, like it just went right up in flames. Yes, yeah, right away. Back live out here right now. We are probably about 25 to 50 feet from the roadway itself. And you can still see this crime scene tape that's still up. And it goes all the way down in this direction as well. Right down here again, just 50 feet in a field right off of Greenfield itself. Uh, we have looked around, at least on the side that we're allowed to be on, on this side of the crime scene tape. We haven't seen any debris from that plane. So most likely that's been cleaned up or taken away for investigation at this point. And in terms of the investigation, itself at this point the FAA and the NTSB tell us they're going to be continuing to investigate guys back to you